Hey everybody, this is Pyle Agarwal and welcome to another episode of the Affirmation Addict Podcast. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 different ways you might be resisting or blocking yourself from change, transformation, or manifestation in general. So stay tuned for 10 different ways you might be blocking yourself and how to fix those 10 different ways. Hi everyone, my name is Pyle Agarwal and I want to welcome you to the Affirmation Addict Podcast. Affirmations have changed my life and now it is my mission to help you use them to change yours by using affirmations every day to manifest things your way. My goal is to make affirmations attainable and accessible to every single person, including you, because you have the ability to take control and create your reality. So come with me on my journey and let's see what we can manifest together. Hey everybody, this is Pyle from Affirmation Addicts and today I want to talk to you guys about 10 things that might actually be holding you back from making those positive changes into your life. And before I get started, um, I just want to say sorry because I'm sitting outside. It was the only quiet place I found and my neighbor is actually building, um, I think a door or something. So if you hear drilling, if you hear thumping or anything, I apologize in advance. I hope it doesn't distract you too much. Um, So with that aside, Just once again, sorry, I know, bad timing, but I just really wanted to get this content out to you guys. And so I'm going to say 10 different things that might actually be stopping you guys or holding you back from actually creating those changes in your life to get to exactly where you want to be. And before I get started, just one disclaimer is change is always happening. Change is beautiful and change is something that just once you accept that change is inevitable and once you tap into the fact that you can change for the better like you're always growing better change does not have to be a negative thing but you can get over that all change will be fun but I want to tell you 10 different ways that you might be resisting change you might be blocking change in your life without even realizing it and these 10 things if they sound like you don't take it personally because these are all coming from my personal experience so you're not alone these are all different areas that I have experienced blockages in that I have personally felt or believed because just different reasons life happens and that's okay so these are the 10 things that I want you to focus on one by one and I will give you um, just kind of a little way to twist it around if that belief really aligns with you so the first belief is you're not giving yourself time to heal and I think a big thing with change is people are so looking forward to getting to that next step getting to where they want to be but you don't really allow the process to take its time you don't really give yourself the time to heal and I think that's not really healthy because healing is such an important thing because our bodies, our minds, our souls need to heal. So say you went through a breakup and now you're trying to find another guy in your life. Well, don't the next day go find somebody else. Give yourself that time to heal. Give yourself to reconnect, tune in, cry, unfollow him, whatever you need to do to feel better. Give yourself that time to heal before you start jumping into something else. And that's something I really notice a lot. Even I do that. You get really impatient and you just want that change to come right away but you have to allow healing and you have to enjoy the process of healing it's a beautiful it's an empowering process because I think anytime we go through healing you learn something new about yourself and you get a little closer with yourself so healing is beautiful give yourself that time to heal number two is you're forcing that change and A big thing with that force in terms of any kind of affirmations, any manifestation, you're forcing that change, meaning that you're not really trusting that the universe will bring that change into your life. You're not really trusting the fact that you even have the capabilities to change into that beautiful, highest self that you want to be. You really, really need to trust and do not force the process of change. Don't really put too much effort and don't be too obsessive. Really acknowledge that you're in the process of changing and that's okay. Take time and have trust in the universe because a really, really big thing is you're not trusting the universe, meaning it's not going to come. That change, that manifestation, that's not going to come. Number three, you're overthinking. This is something I'm so guilty of, overthinking. When we're trying to make a big change, when we're trying to manifest something, we just overthink it and that's all we focus on. But kind of aligned with the last time, last um, point is you really, really need to trust and don't overthink it. Don't be too obsessive. Don't think that you have to change every single part of you. No, you're always changing as it is. So it's okay. Just 
take a deep breath. Like if you find yourself overthinking, your breath, best friend, your breath is such a game changer. Just take a deep breath when you find yourself overthinking and focus on something else. Do not keep focusing on that change you're trying to make, that thing you're trying to manifest. Give yourself the time to clear your mind and take a step back. It is such a game changer and I really, really, really don't think overthinking will ever really help you. Number four is you are not grateful for what you have. And this is something I preach a lot about, that gratitude is the key. Gratitude is so amazing. Like, what do you not have to be grateful for? I know there's always something more that you want, but what's stopping you from being grateful for what you have right now? The fact that you are listening to this episode or watching this video, the fact that you are here, we are connected. You might, I'm in Arizona at this moment, and you might be watching this across the world in Thailand. Who knows? So that's so amazing, the fact that we have that technology, the fact that you're breathing and you're alive here today. Be thankful. Like, do not just sulk in the fact that you're not having, you don't have what you really want or you're not the person you really want to be yet. You're always growing into that. You're always going to become better. And once you reach that destination where you think you're the highest version of yourself, I promise you there's going to be more. Like, you're always going to want more. So there's such an important thing to be grateful along the way. And it really makes it more the whole process more enjoyable, more seamless, and gratitude like oh I don't even know some people when they're not grateful I get really peeved and I just really think gratitude is a no-brainer in the sense that you have so much to be grateful for no matter what even if you are in uh, the conditions you don't want to be in sorry if that background noise is really bad today um but even if you're not in the situation that you really want to be in you're still alive and breathing and that is more than enough to be grateful for and i really 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 want you guys to practice gratitude for everything that you have and everything that you will become okay Number six, you feel lost or confused in this moment. So sometimes when we're trying to make a change, you're trying to manifest something, you we tend to focus on the lack or you tend to focus on how is this even going to happen. Drop all of that and you have to really, really believe and understand that it's going to happen and you have to feel good because no matter how you're feeling in this moment, that's what you're going to attract more of. So if I'm right now, say I am trying to manifest a... $100, right? If I am thinking about where is that $100 going to come from, I don't think that's going to happen. That's the type of energy I'm going to attract. But if I'm focusing on the fact that I know that $100 is going to come to me, so I feel good. I'm not even worrying about it. You really, really have to act as and understand that it's going to come no matter what. So feel content, feel joyful. Do not worry and waste your time and feel confused or lost and focus on how is it going to come. Because that's not what you would be thinking if it was already in your hands. So that's really the concept of understanding how how you feel really is a game changer in what's coming your way and what is bringing what you're bringing into your life because if you are focusing on the lack or you're focusing on the how that is what's going to manifest but if you are focusing on the fact that I know it's already here that's what's going to manifest and I know it sounds easy it takes time but give yourself the time put effort into making that happen for you Okay, the next one is you are settling. So a big thing is, um, a big kind of concept is accepting everything that you're going through, right? But there's a big difference between settling and accepting in my opinion because I really do believe in order to create anything that you want in your life, you do have to take inspired positive action. So do not settle and just say, okay, everything's going to come to me. You can't just twiddle your thumbs and sit there and wait for things to manifest. Accept that this is my reality right now, but I know more is going to come. And what are you going to do to make that stuff come? How can you change your vibration? How can you make yourself a little bit better? How can you grow more? How can you practice a little more gratitude? How can you maybe seek out opportunities and let them come and be open to receiving them? How are you taking action to make yourself more of a magnet for whatever you really want in your life? Don't just sit there because settling is not going to really get you anywhere. You do need to take action this law of attraction and manifestation, it doesn't work if you lock yourself up in a room. People have tried that. People have experimented with that. It doesn't work that way. You need to keep living. You need to keep living your life. Number six is blaming others. So oftentimes we blame everybody else for what we're going through. But when was the last time you really blamed yourself? And 
probably not like very recently because that's a huge ego degrader. That's a huge no-no for your ego, blaming yourself. Our egos, we really believe that we are the best person out there. And that's true. Like You are the best person out there. But what your ego doesn't want to admit is you're also creating as many good things as you are as strongly creating as many bad things that have happened in your life. And that's not something to blame you. That's just things that happen because we have different limiting beliefs in our society. We have so many different factors in our society. It's not your fault that something happened to you and you don't like it. It's more so you created it unintentionally. You created it whether you wanted it or not. And realizing that we are truly co-creators of our life is so important because once you can kind of tack onto that and take responsibility, take ownership, you're honoring your creative ability. You're honoring the fact that you're so powerful that you can create your reality. And sure, things have happened that you don't want in your life, but now you can start to making that change and creating what you really want in your life. And that is what this is all about. Don't blame others because blaming others, you're just going to give them con- give them control. But when in reality, we want control. So the next one is victimizing yourself. And I may have messed up the numbers as I'm talking through them. So if it's confusing, I apologize. But I'm back on track and I'll make sure I recap at the end so there's no confusion. But number eight is victimizing yourself. A big thing that we do is we're just like, oh, life is happening to me. And why is this happening to me or why me? But you really need to realize that instead of thinking of it like, oh, I have to do this or this is happening to me, I get to do this. And I'm so happy this is happening in my life because realizing the fact that life is always happening for you rather than to you is such an honor to the universe, such an honor to the life force and energy in general. Life is always going to work out for your benefit. There's always a lesson to be learned. There's always a more positive way to look at it. Even in the worst circumstances, I understand that it's very, very difficult, but a lot of those difficult circumstances are things that as humans, we really tie to like our material possessions or our physical possessions. But in the end, understanding that we're all energy, life is always working towards that positive energy. And that is what really, really will help you make that positive change and make that transformation to become that best version of yourself. Number nine, I got the numbering right now, is if you are the type of person who notices all the hurdles before you notice all the opportunities. So an example that I really like to think about is say you are standing at an ocean and your ocean is abundance. So if the first thing you think of when you stand in front of a beautiful ocean is, oh my god, there's so many sharks in there, or oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful thing. How is this ocean so big? There's two different ways of looking at the same thing at every situation. We know this. That's that's balance. That's harmony. That's duality. There's always two sides. So when you realize that if you are the type of person who will always see the sharks in the water rather than the beautiful coral in the water, you know, realizing that you can all, there's always two sides and pick the more beautiful side and make an effort to find the glass half full rather than the glass half empty. It's so, These are all concepts that we consider so cliche, but when you realize that it's really what is creating your reality, you're going to want to tap into these cliche concepts as well. So I really, really think it's important to understand that if you keep noticing all the hurdles before you notice all the opportunities, you're blocking yourself from all those beautiful things coming into your life so much easier. Because if you notice all the bad things, you'll still get to where you want to be, but you're going to have to encounter all of those bad things. Versus if you only see the positive things and you only acknowledge and give energy to those positive things, that's what's going to happen. You're only going to have to really deal with those positive things because you're not expecting the negative. And the last one, number 10, and I think this is the most important, is with change, manifestation, getting to your highest self, all of that really work and development and transformation, you believe that you are not good enough in this moment. And that is the most false statement ever. You are so capable. You're so worthy. You're so perfect right now the way you are. But there's always something better. And that's so beautiful because loving yourself right now how you are, but there's more to love. There's better things to come. That's amazing. If you think that because we're talking about change and transformation that you're not good enough in this moment, then 
you're wrong because that's so not true. It's just the fact that change is always happening. And to get to even better places, you're always going to evolve. You're always going to learn. So don't really, when we talk about change or we talk about transformation, don't think that it's because you're not good enough. Because trust me, you're here for a reason. You are here. You have a purpose. You have energy. We need you and you need you. And so do not think that change or transformation means that you're not okay you're more than okay we're just getting to be at better places because all this affirmation stuff if I was always affirming then if I naturally thought that oh this is because my life sucks right now how low would my energy be that's not that's not the way to go it's because there's always something better I love what I have right now and I love what's going to come my way that's my favorite statement because it's really showing that you're grateful for everything you have in this life in this moment but you're also grateful grateful for all the beautiful things that are going to come like beyond your wildest dreams so that is something that I think is key make sure that you're feeling good and you know that you're a freaking rock star okay and so those are the 10 ways that you might be resisting change you might be resisting transformation or manifestation without even realizing it and As a quick recap, the 10 different ways you might be resisting change is you're not giving yourself time to heal you're forcing it, you're overthinking it, you're not really grateful for what you're going through at the moment, you feel lost or you're focusing on the lack, you're settling, you blame others, you're victimizing yourself, you're noticing all the hurdles, or you think there's something wrong with you right now. So just to reemphasize, all of this is really, really just saying that you're thinking about the worst rather than the best. So if you want change, if you want manifestation to work better for you, if you want to build, just really focus on the fact that you are amazing. You're a powerhouse. So really, really look at the positive. I know it's cliche, but I promise it works and I promise it makes a world of a difference. So really, really don't give yourself reasons to doubt yourself or doubt your abilities or doubt the universe. Give yourself reasons to trust, to believe, and to have faith. If any of these resonated with you, do not be disheartened. This all comes from personal experience for me. I've experienced every single one of these multiple times. And so if you do experience these, see, go back and find the clip and try and turn it around some way. There's always a better way to do it. There's always a transformation because there's always room for growth for the better. And if any of these resonated with you, let me know which one worked below and let me know how you plan on changing it. Let me know how you plan on tackling it so that you can just be more aligned with your highest self. You can be more ready for change and you can be even more powerful of a manifest station magnet. So I hope this was really helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, as always, let me know below. Or if you just want to send me some love or leave a review or anything, always welcome. Your feedback means the absolute world to me. So thank you for what you're doing. And thank you for just being a part of my journey. And thank you for letting me be a part of your journey. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. That's all I have for you guys, and I just want to say thank you again for spending some time with me. I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, head over to my social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, or go to my website if you want to subscribe to my email list, which is affirmation-addict.com. I cannot wait to hear from you guys, and I will talk to you guys super soon. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.